How's it going everyone? Jake here. Welcome back to Dude Ranch DIY. We are down here in the wood yard. As you can see, I got a fire going over here, burning up all of the scraps that fall out of the splitter. I've totally emptied out this uh, tote that I normally have underneath the, uh, you know, sorting tray of the splitter where all the scraps fall through. So I got a nice fire going here. It's going to burn it all up. I'm going to put this thing back underneath the splitter and we're going to be splitting up some oak rounds today. So lately I've been separating out the nice kindling pieces that also fall into that uh, IBC tote thing there through the grate. Um, I'm going to save up a bunch of these and uh, start offering kindling out at the roadside firewood stand. I'll probably bundle up little bundles of them and uh, sell them for like two or three bucks uh, along with the firewood. So I just moved the log splitter over here to uh, be right next to the oak rounds. Got an IBC tote. I gotta get this thing back underneath the splitter and then we can start splitting up this oak here. So I just looked up and uh, the, the sun is like directly above the wood yard right now and this smoke coming off the fire looks pretty cool coming through the sun rays here. I came home after getting my nails done and I thought there was like a fire back, like I know there's a fire, but like it looked like there was a huge fire back here. And there is. <laughs> well, there is. Like, it's not that big though. It's no, it's definitely well contained. Smoke. Yeah, there's a lot of smoke because it's burning up all the wet stuff that was on the bottom of the tote here. Oh, I feel like someone's so. gonna call the fire department. No, nah, I've definitely done worse. <laughs> okay. You gonna help me split here or you got stuff to do? I mean, we have to go to a wedding in like two and a half hours. I gotta look good. All right, well, go get yourself looking yeah. good. It only takes me like 10 minutes to true. throw on that suit. Yeah, true. All right, sounds good. Okay, guys, I got the splitter and the catch tray and the IBC tote all in position here. Oak round sitting over here. Uh, let's see how this works. I'm gonna try something. I put the IBC tote over on like the operator side of the splitter. Um, we'll see if that makes a difference rather than it being out on the end thinking it might save me a couple steps um this oak as you can tell is a little rotten on the inside it might be a little bit punky so we'll see how much wood we can get out of it i grabbed a small ibc tote hopefully we can at least fill that up
Alrighty guys, we only got a couple more rounds of this oak left. I got a full IBC tote here. Now you'll notice I'm not stacking it in the middle or dropping any pieces down there because this is oak. So I'm gonna try and give it as much airflow as I possibly can. Um, but this is some nice stuff, I'm splitting it. Also definitely on the smaller side, you can see uh, I had some big rounds. At the beginning I was using the six way just cause it busts them down pretty small. Um, this stuff is pretty, it's like halfway gone. I mean, so, some, a lot of the pieces are definitely still good, but a lot of them also have some punk and stuff on the outside. Like you can see this part's good. This part's like starting to rot and get punky. So I'm not going to sell this tote. I'm just going to keep this for myself, um, to burn in our wood stove in, you know, a year or two. Um, it definitely has a lot of bugs and stuff in it. I actually have this solo cup here um, filled up with some of the like maggots or grubs or whatever um, that I've been pulling out from underneath the bark. Um, I have uh, three Eastern painted turtles that I actually found a couple weeks ago, um, believe it or not, of all places, underneath the burlap of a tree that we were planting at work. There were five of them. I took three. One of the other guys took two of them. Um, so I've been raising those guys. They're tiny, like their shells maybe like an inch and a half big. Um, so I got them and they love these grub things. So I figured I'd uh, give them a little treat later today. Um, so for right now, I'm gonna get this tote out of the way. I will grab another one of the small guys over there and uh, we're gonna finish splitting up these couple rounds over here, but so far so good. Definitely can't sell this stuff though with all the bugs and, and rot and punk and stuff in it. So that's that. Well guys, that is it. All the oak is split up. I got a little bit more than a half, second half tote um, out of that. So we got a full tote and a little more than half a tote over here, which is great. So that's, uh, you know, about a half a cord um, of red oak that, like I said before, not gonna be able to sell it. Um, it's pretty punky, it's pretty dirty wood as I would call it. Um, but you know what? My wood stove doesn't care, so I will happily burn that stuff in my wood stove. Um, whether it's, you know, this upcoming winter, I highly doubt that. It'll probably be, you know, the following winter, winter of 2024, I guess. Um, it's crazy that we're getting that far ahead of ourselves. But um, this oak is super wet, and since it's punky and stuff, I definitely want to give it time to dry out. But uh, I just took some scraps that were in the catch-all and I loaded up the burn barrel here. So I'll let that smolder and hopefully burn down. And uh, we will be back another day to basically start cutting into that pile of hickory and this big pile of, which is mostly ash and maple. Um, so we have that to look forward to. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Like Sarah said before, we have a wedding to get to uh, this afternoon. So we're looking forward to that. It's actually up in New Haven. So we might get to have some of that famous Connecticut New Haven thin crust pizza. Let me know in the comments section below if you've ever had any of the uh, famous New Haven pizzas. There's uh, Frank Pepe's, there's Plaza Pizza, there's Bar Pizza. There's a bunch of really famous pizza places up there that are all delicious. So let me know if you've ever had it. But if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Questions, comments, feedback, throw it down in the comments section. But for now, I'm Jake. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time.